This is from uh, by uh, written by Kevin Sullivan and Carla Adam in December of last year, as in you know six eight weeks ago, uh, December twenty fourth, twenty fourteen, in the Washington Post, and the headline in the Washington Post this December twenty fourth piece twenty fourteen by Kevin Sullivan and Carla Adam. The headline is hoping to create an excuse me a new society. The Islamic State requir- recruits entire families. And they're, they're talking about, you know, last month in Syria, Siddhartha Thadar stood in front of a banged-up yellow pickup truck holding an assault rifle in his right hand and cradling his newborn son in his left. He proudly tweeted it out as proof that he and his wife, Aisha, and their four children had fled Britain and are now living in what is called the Islamic State. The article goes on to say, to create the Islamic society it envisions, the group, this is ISIS, has gone to great lengths to take over existing schools, hospitals, and playgrounds, or to build, as in build from scratch, construct schools, hospitals, playgrounds, these and other institutions of daily family life. Now, while we're busy dropping bombs on people and droning them from the sky, this is what ISIS is doing. Mia Bloom is a professor of security studies at the University of Mass at Lowell. And she's written extensively about women and terrorism, according to this article in the Washington Post. She was quoted, she said, uh, when the reporters contacted her, she said, the more they, ISIS, the more they are successful at creating a whole new society, the more they are able to attract entire families. It's almost like the American dream, but the Islamic State's version of it. Now, what was the American dream? You can have a middle-class life. You can raise your kids. They can go to school. You can have access to, to health care. You can have a decent retirement. You can have a decent income. So, as the story continues, in the Syrian city of Raqqa, now occupied by ISIL, the group's main stronghold, in fact, the estre- extremists have established a clinic, clinic for pregnant women run by a female gynecologist trained in Britain. Boys attend school until they're 14, at which point they join the military. Girls stay in school until they're 18. Bloom said the Islamic State also appeals to women by providing electricity, food, and a salary of up to $1,100 a month, a huge sum in Syria. This is a country where the average annual income is only a couple thousand dollars a year. This would be the equivalent of, of uh, you know, somebody offering a thousand dollar a year salary here in the United States to women to be housewives. Bloom said the Islamic State also appeals to women by providing food and a salary of up to $1,100 a month, a huge sum in Syria for each fighter's family. The largesse is funded with money looted from banks, oil smuggling, kidnappings for ransom, and the extortion of truckers and others who cross Islamic State territory. So they have a functioning economy, they have an income source, and they're using that income to build a social safety net and the social infrastructure of a modern society. Except it's just not our version of a modern society. It's their version of a modern society where everybody learns their version of of Sharia and Islam. Bloom went on to say this. uh, Mia Bloom, the professor of security studies at UMass, who is an expert on this stuff. She said, the other jihadi groups promise you all these wonderful things in the afterlife. The Islamic State promises to give you stuff in the current life and the afterlife. So you don't have to wait to enjoy all your rewards. Right. 